Well, voting is underway for the second phase of the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly polls in India. More than 10% turnout has been recorded till 9 a.m. Indian time. Foreign observers from 16 countries, including the United States and Russia, are in the Union territory to witness the polls. And security has been tightened across all six poll-bound districts in the Union territory. Notably, three out of the six districts, Riyasi, Rajori and Pooch, were hit with back-to-back -back terror attacks over the last three years. This phase will also cover the three central Kashmir districts of Srinagar, Gandherbal and Budgam. The second phase will decide the fate of 239 candidates across 26 assembly constituencies, with prominent figures like former Chief Minister Umar Abdullah, and former and Jammu and Kashmir BJP chief Ravindra Raina among the key contenders. A total of 3,502 polling stations have been set up in the poll-bound constituencies and there are more than 2.5 million eligible voters in the penultimate phase of the three-phase assembly elections. An estimated 61.38% of the electorate cast their ballots in the first phase of polling on September 18th. The third phase of elections covering the remaining 40 assembly segments will go to polls on October 1st. Well, our special correspondent Idris Lone now joins us live from Budgam in Jammu and Kashmir. Idris, thanks for, to, for joining us on the broadcast here. Firstly, tell me the relevance of this particular location that you are at in context of the elections and the polling in Jammu and Kashmir. Well, Isha, I'm right now in Soibug area of Badgam district. It has a huge relevance with regard to, the, if we compare it to the last three decades. Uh, this is the same area where the United Jihad Council and the Hezbul Mujahideen chief uh, actually is from. Soibug is the area where Sayyid Salahuddin is from. And today, what we are seeing on the ground, this area used to uh, witness a poll boycott in uh, a, a major way in the last three decades. But now what we've seen on the ground is huge queues of people at every polling booth in the Soibog area. Uh, after 10 years, the assembly elections taking place in Jammu and Kashmir, and everywhere we've gone since morning in the Badgam district, we've seen huge number of people coming out and casting their vote. As you can see in your visuals, we see a lot of women finally coming out in big numbers earlier. It was huge queues of the men in the morning, but it seems that uh, the household work has been completed by these women and they're now uh, coming out to cast their vote uh, there have been there are in today's second phase of election there are multiple uh, polling booths which are in volatile areas which used to uh, completely see a lot of poll boycott in the earlier times including Srinagar's downtown area but what we are seeing now is that there's a huge transformation from what used to be witnessed in the last three deca decades and what we see on the ground right now that people coming out in big numbers uh, to cast their vote. Idris, rather heartwarming to see the women electorate coming and exercising their democratic right. Have you been able to speak to some of them? Uh, what are their thoughts? What are they, uh, you know, polling? What are they actually uh, casting their vote on the basis of? Uh, what is the sentiment generally on the ground there? Well, Ishab, we've seen, uh, you can see, uh, first of all, I'd like to show you that there's an old man who seems around about 90 years for sure. Uh, people of all the age groups uh, and genders we've seen since morning coming out in big numbers. Uh, a lot of old people uh, who had the choice that the government has made facilities that they could have voted in their homes, but we've seen that they want to come out to the polling booths and cast their vote. On the other hand, when we speak to the women, uh, 
uh, as well as to the younger women and men uh, in these districts, most of the times uh, their major problem is unemployment. All of them are saying that they have gone to colleges, universities, but after that they've not been able to find jobs. And by voting in the elections, they're hopeful uh, that the government that will come to power will actually find solutions to the unemployment uh, that mars the whole of Jammu and Kashmir from the last many years. Uh, if we talk about this uh, second phase of elections, what is most important is that the top leadership of majorly all political parties uh, is in the fray as well. The former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Umar Abdullah, is also contesting from two seats. One is Gandharbal, one is Badgam, while as uh, the Apni party chief, Altaf Bukhari, is also in the fray. Uh, there are two more leaders, one state president of the Congress party as well as the state president of uh, the BJP party, Tariq Hamid Kara and Ravinder Rirena, both are contesting uh, today as well. So it's going to be very interesting for these political leaders who, are, who actually are managing their, uh, their regional political parties in Jammu and Kashmir. They are in the fray. So very interesting election. If we talk about this constituency, uh, uh, we also saw that Jamaat Islami finally deciding to come out uh, and not only uh, stopping the poll boycott, but also participating in elections. And they have uh, fielded a number of candidates uh, across Jammu and Kashmir, especially in the Kashmir region. And this time, this area, Soibug area, which used to see a lot of poll boycott, now finally seeing not only people coming out in huge numbers, but Jamaat members also uh, participating and fighting in the elections. Okay, Idris, thank you so much for that valuable update. And we will keep coming back to you through the course of the day.